<laughs> Hello. Today we're going to be turning bananas old with science. Now, you may be wondering, what science are we going to be using to turn bananas old? Well, it turns out bananas aging process is governed almost entirely by one gas, ethene. So if we can come up with a way to put bananas in ethene gas, then they should get old, right? So now that we have the banana in two halves, we should be able to expose one of the halves to ethene gas, and it should start to age faster than the half that's not exposed to ethene gas. But first, we're gonna need ethene gas. So to 22 milliliters of ethanol, we slowly add 20 milliliters of sulfuric acid dropwise. Now, if you look closely, you may notice some hellish looking smoke coming out of the reaction vessel. That's why we have it in an ice bath. It's not really doing an important reaction right now, but whenever you add sulfuric acid to a liquid like this, it just gets really hot. This may seem overkill with the really slow drip rate in the ice bath, but believe it or not, the liquid is actually at 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Once we finish, we have a nice mix of sulfuric acid and ethanol. From here, the next step is to do a distillation. So what you have here is ethanol and sulfuric acid. Now, the sulfuric acid forces the ethanol to take a hydrogen, and it forms this unstable little H2O group. Because this H2O group is unstable, it's going to try and get rid of it in two ways. One of the ways involves another ethanol molecule attacking from behind and producing an ether. The way that we want is to just sort of have the water pop off, and it leaves behind a double bond, which just gives us ethane. Now, unfortunately, we can't get just one of these reactions. Both of these reactions are going to happen at the same time, and we're going to get both of these products. But we can, however, shift the amounts that we're going to get by changing the temperature. If we push a temperature above 150 degrees, we should start to get more ethene than ether. So to start the reaction off, we're going to heat it up to about 160-ish. Because ether boils at 34 degrees Celsius, it'll boil off get condensed, and then settle in the flask on this end. Meanwhile, the ethene, which is a gas, will blow right through and come out of the vacuum adapter at this end. Now, I got it too hot and it started smoking, but that actually helps us see the ethene coming out. So I go ahead and put a balloon on it, and I try and fill the balloon up as much as possible. Once I got a good balloon full, we do some gymnastics here to get the ethene gas into this jar. First I let a vacuum in, which pulls all the air out of the jar. Then I carefully repressurize the jar with ethene gas. And now that we have the two halves of the banana, there's nothing to do but wait. Now, admittedly, I let the flies get to this one, so ignore the black on the bottom. But you can clearly see how the banana on the right is turning brown much quicker. After a few days, it turned pretty brown, so I decided to take it out of its jar. Now, immediately upon touching it, I was surprised to find that the banana was very soft. Like, the whole thing, inside and out, is just turned to mush. Meanwhile, the other banana is still pretty firm and mostly yellow. There's some bruises on it from where I bumped it around, but yeah, evidence speaks for itself. Moral of the story, ethane makes bananas old. <laughs>